Our students, Brian Proctor back for part three. And I really don't need to explain anything because I explained it all in the video. So let's go. All right, welcome back to part three of whatever I named this thing, drawing your own position. So as I said, this is part three. If you just join this video, go back to part one and you'll be able to catch up to what we're doing because what I'm doing here is I'm showing you how to draw the positions you want, not just uh, look at me draw something and I'll, I've got my books here and I refer to my books again because these are drawing books I did to help people. Not just like if I draw this position and then you draw that position, now that just showed you how to draw that position. And you might not need that position. You might need that position turned to the left or to the right. And that's why I came up with action pose position 360, where I draw positions from different angles, the same basic position from different angles. So this is the same position, but it's what it looks like from the side, from the back, from the other side, from the, the very back. So, but that still is not, may not may not be what you need because you might want this position, but you want this position drawn from the top and the arm up or down. So this is why I'm doing this series where I'm showing you how to do the body parts and what it looks like when you turn it, twist it, and look at it from the top and the bottom. So I haven't done any women yet. So let me start uh, throwing some women in here too. So the very first part, I showed you guys how to do the torso, which is the main thing. And then I kind of went into the shoulders, the arms, how to twist and bend the arms, what it looks like um, using your cone because your arm is three shapes, just a circle, uh, oval and a cone like this. And then kind of getting into the neck. And again, I always say these are going to be 30 minute videos and I probably set my alarm, but I forgot to set it. Computer, set alarm for 30 minutes. 30 minutes. All right, so now let's put my glasses back on and let's get back into this. So, what was I saying? We were working on the neck. So, which is very simple. Refer back to the video before this and then you'll, you'll get back into the neck. And it's just, let's do some more like the head. So, if the head, if you're doing the head front straight on looking at you, this is my head is looking at you. So, if I want to do... a character and I'm trying to think of my next words if I take this head and let me ink this so you can see it because somebody complained about my red pencil how it wasn't really you know able to how they weren't really able to see come on Brian talk I just did like th two, this is my third video back to back so here's my head okay now I want to draw a superhero this is going to be kind of a superhero kind of guy it all depends on your neck your neck has to come with your ear wherever your ear is your neck has to come straight down like that if your neck comes down that makes this guy look more rugged and of course you have your um shoulder blade my shoulder blade i told you it's my third video so the more i talk the more i lose it you have this little dip between your collarbone and then you have these muscles that come up right to your ear, basically to come up to your ear. Then you have your neck that comes down and you have your shoulders. Now that's a powerful guy right there because his neck is wider, is as wide as his head or a little wider. So, and your shoulders. If I did another head, and I was gonna use the same one, but I'll do a couple more heads. I think three will be enough. And without faces, Brian, because that kills time. So, ears again. Here's the head. So, if I did the neck, let's ink this just because I got to ink it. And he's a, he's a bad guy. He's an evil cat. He's just a man. So here's the head. Now, he's not going to be as powerful as this guy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to reduce the neck size like that. So basically, his ears are here, which this guy's neck came straight down from his ears. He can come straight down or out more, and I'll do one like that. And then it comes right into his shoulders. Like there. And of course, you have your collarbone. 
and this little dip in your collarbone and you have these muscles that go there now because this part right here is round this is from the last video this is round these are your your um traps trapezoids this is round like this because you have they come around like this and this is round here it's going to have a little dip in here it's going to be a little v in here because of the way this is going and the way your neck is going around so you have this little v in between your neck and that gives it more more of a powerful shoulder so if i if i did another one real quick it'd be like this is this then there's a little v like that and then your collarbone like that it just gives you that more powerful that shoulder so as i say if he's not as powerful as this this could be your big guy right here this one the neck is going to come in a little bit more and he's still going to kind of look powerful depending on your show how round you make your shoulders if you make your shoulders round you know he's still going to kind of be a little powerful guy you know he could be like the leader you know or it depends on how much you put the neck out from the head so if i want to do like somebody's young And here's my face again. Here's the ears. And there are many faces. You can do Langer faces. You can do the Western style faces. You can do whatever type face. It doesn't make a difference. So he's younger than this guy. So I'm going to make the neck even smaller like that. And then shoulders. The shoulders might not be, you know, round like that. You can kind of like almost make them flat a little bit. You know, give them a little bit. I wouldn't take this all the way up like I did this one. Just give them a little bit like that. And then the shoulders there. And then you have more of a teen. The wider your shoulders and the more rounder your shoulders are. Let's see if I can do this guy. Well, I'll, I'll do another one that determines the age and i'll do one more after that for a woman and i'll start getting into the women because i have not gotten into the women so we have this again we have your eye your nose what happened to that eye brian and your mouth your ear and of course you give them a square chin a wider chin the younger he they are the more rounder pointier the chin is older and the more stronger they are the uh, flatter and wider the chin is I'll get into that too so we have this let's say we got that we got the eye why is everybody so evil okay fine now he's a little happy he's kind of like evil evil happy with the head so Again, if you have somebody younger, the chin, the, the neck comes in. So like if say, if let's just do this. We're going to have this guy powerful. He's got a strong, powerful neck, but he doesn't have a strong, powerful head. And then this side, which is there. So if I did this, and where's my collarbone right here? This is going to go up. And this shoulder. So if I cover like this half right here, you would say, oh, that guy's a big, fat, powerful guy. But if I did like this half here, which let's do the little shoulder like that. He wouldn't look as powerful. He would be, because I did this lump, he still looks like he's got a, you know, strong body. But you see how it determines the chin, uh, the, the neck and the shoulder determines the um, size and age of the person. So if I did a female, instead of doing the round chin or the square chin, I always do a point like that. I'm doing my V and then the head like that. Then of course the female, of course the female is not gonna have a big neck like that. It's gonna come somewhere in like this, but instead of stopping and curving like that, it's going to slope in and around. And then the shoulder is right there. So, and I even bring that neck in a little bit more because that's a little too, too wide. Bring it in a little and then out. And then her collarbone. And the female's collarbone, is it, I think it goes in like whereas a man's could be flat. The females come in more, period. Just their period. And I know on the, one of the other videos I said, I have to keep track of these papers. Whenever you bend your character forward or when your character is leaning forward, you have this more of a diamond shape right here. 
and when he's straight, it needs to be, when he's straight forward, it needs to be flat. That's the difference between somebody right at you, looking right at you face to face, and somebody leaning down to attack you. It takes that diamond shape like this. Your collarbone is here, and then your delts are here. Then there's your back, and then your head. And your head comes down into your shoulders. It comes down. Whereas if you're up here, here's your shoulders here, and your heads are high above your shoulder. I have to keep these in, in line so that you can know what I'm saying. So, yeah, for the female. And since I'm on the female, do that again. As far as a mouth, I'll do the straight line. I do this V here. And then it's kind of like two mountains, and I'm just jumping to the mouth of the female. And then you have your bottom lip. And you can do whatever shape you want with the mouth. Usually there's a, just a slight point right there. And then round it off. And that's getting more into detail. And then I will not, I will bring it down just like that on the edge. And then curve it around. And you have like a kind of female mouth. But you can do whatever mouth you want. This is just me. This is just how I can do it. You can have thin lips or big thick lips. However you choose. So... Of course your nose and then your eyes and with the male I'll have the eyes on the same line so here's my football shaped eyes like this it's on that same line with the female I will have one end on the line like this but the other end is going to be up in the air so one on the line the other up in the air and then that's that to me that's that's how I do my females and then I'll just you know give them the, the lashes And that to me, that just the difference between you know the male and the female. Of course, the more the rugged nose. So yeah, back on the female. So I'm not gonna really get into the eyes and on the female yet. Well, we'll get into faces later. So we're gonna have this line. We're still gonna have this, but we're not gonna bring that line all the way up like we do the guys. We're just gonna have this little dip here. Now we're gonna get into the chest. Let's go back, back to the back. And this is where YouTube will kind of, when they, they say, oh, you're drawing women, uh, demonetize you. Same thing that I did, and go back to the first part where I showed you how to do this, the beetle. This is what I call it, because when I first did designed it, this is what I came up with. Same thing. So if I did the males here, basically you want to do an egg. So you want to do more, more wider at the top than the bottom. For the female, you want to do kind of the opposite way. And that's the way the skeleton kind of is anyway. Well, not kind of, it is. It's more wider at the bottom than the top. But because the guy has big shoulders, you're starting out right. And the female has small shoulders, you're starting out right. So, yeah, you want to do that. So, not too fat, though, but you don't want it like that. So, in essence, if I'm doing a man, I can do this. If you're one of those people like, I can't do the oval, just do this. Do half of a, a triangle upside down. Here's this, here's this. The V for the neck. And you put your shoulder or your traps here and put your arms there. It doesn't matter the shape because you're going to cover it up with clothes or uniform or whatever. And then there's the head. You just round it off. That's all. Just round it off later once you get it. So you really don't need the oval, but because the body's shaped like an oval, you want to do that. So anyway, that, you have this, your oval, center line, which tells you direction. Go look at the first video. Your collarbone, bring this down from the female. Your delts here. Females have small arms. So, and we're just going to do, we're not going to do the hips and all that. We're just going to do this, which includes the breasts. So we're going to have that mountain, that, ups, that mountain or the upside down U. And just above that, we're going to have the chest. Now, for the man, it's like this. Curves in here and goes into the, your delts like that. Collarbone here and your shoulders. So if I ink that, it's going to be like this. Because it goes right into the chest. This comes down in the chest. And it's kind of like a shoulder pad if you're doing like football. It's really like one piece, just one whole piece. Then you stick your shoulders on top of that. You have your neck goes up and then your head and then your lats are going to come out here. 
And then, as I showed you before in the other video, if you do a round, you're going to come down to your waist like this. And this is as far as I'm going to go here. And then your arms are tucked up under here. At this point, you have your bicep. And behind that, you have some tricep like that. And this is, this is your uh, oval. Yeah. And then your head. And this. And then your abs are down here. So, now that's your man. Now, the female is going to be basically the same steps, 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 except usually I will go ahead and I put the neck on, and then I put the head on, and from the bottom of the chin, maybe I'll make the chin point here. I, may, I have to make sure you're seeing this. Small neck, curving, going curving down like this. From the bottom of the chin, you can do it here, but I you do an upside down heart depending on how big the breasts are. So here's your line that's just above your, um, it's your rib cage right here. This whole thing is your rib cage. This is the opening. Let me show you. Um, no, you won't, you won't really see it in this guy. So from here, I'll do an upside down heart past this line. This is the bottom of the man's breast. So the female is gonna come a little past that. And you're just doing an upside down heart which is the point is right here under her chin. So here's your heart. If you're upside down heart, if you can't draw an upside down heart, draw one from the top of your paper or flip your paper upside down, draw it, then flip your paper back. Come on camera, don't mess up on me now. Straighten up. Thank you. Hopefully this didn't get blurry. And then depending on the size of your chest, you can it will come off of this rib cage or you can have the rib cage right under it. Cause anytime I draw a woman, I always slim her down because I'm so used to drawing the big oval for the man. And then once I get the woman's head and so forth, then I'll, <clears throat> then I will slim her down like that. This is my alarm set computer. How long on my timer computer? How long left on my timer? Oh, you want to act like that now you fired computer. How long left on my timer? You have 14 minutes left on the timer. Thank you. Timer. You're fired. So, yeah, as I say, so let me ink this. So there's a heart here. And the same way that the male chest, it comes like this and it hooks. And then there's actually space right there. Not space, but just the way it's shaped. It's shaped like this, round, and it goes in, and then it comes out to the chest. So it's round, and it goes in and out like in and out, in and out. Same thing for the female. It's going to come down. You're going to have your neck like this and your shoulders like that. So the breasts are going to come the same way. This and then like that. And you're going to get this little bit right here. As I showed you that, same thing. Comes up and into that arm. So Usually I'll have the, wherever the breast is, I'll have the rib cage come in the chest. And as in, if this is, this is my heart upside down, I don't have the rib cage come way out like this. I'll have it come in, giving her that slimmer kind of shape. And then there's the shoulders right there. So like that. And then you have this. And as I say, this is tilted for the female. The neck is narrow. Then I have the point for the chin. And up like that and it comes in and then you have your your rib cage for the female like that now arms are the same way except for women go back to the other video you see these three shapes that I did the arms with except this is going to be way narrower than this part so you don't want to have the big bulky brawny arms for the man the female is going to be and then the, the wrists are going to be really thin and then you have the the hands hand hands so you're gonna have a thin bicep and thick especially right here wider um forearm like so and we'll get into the rest later because i don't want to i don't want to um go too far into it so for shoulders as I said, go back. I believe it's the first video, and I'll show it shows you how to do shoulder from the top. It's all the same for the females. Okay, back to this. I so say your female, you have your head. Going to that point, more of a pointy chin. Okay. 
and then your neck is going to come and you, this you you have to determine once you get that neck because for me that's a little too wide right there coming out and then sloping down kind of like a ski slope and then your your shoulders are more square not round like this guy for a female it's going to be more square in and then your arms and of course it said the point is here that the, the little heart here and then your rib cage, her rib cage. So it's gonna be square and it's gonna come in like this. And then your arm, like that. And you have to watch your arm. You don't wanna make your arm too fat. <clears throat> and then of course your center line. Of course you always have your center line, your collarbone. And unlike the man's, it's gonna go all the way to his delts. It's gonna go like into the delts. You stop the females here. Just stop it right there. You don't have to go all the way. Just stop it like that. So, and of course the neck doesn't, you don't want to bring it all the way up. You just have this and even that head is way too high on the neck. Some women have longer necks, but you don't want, you don't want too much of that shoulder popping out. So either that or just bring the head down a little bit more so you don't have that much neck. Keep the neck slim, keep the body slim. And uh, you would be all right unless you're doing a She-Hulk. But even She-Hulk has got like a fine uh, body. She don't have a massive bodybuilder body. Um, let's do a side view for the female. Well, okay, yeah, let's do a couple profile for the female. Since we haven't done the female, you have your front view the same way with your male. Go back to the first video. So... This is oval, these are round, so just remember that. Everything you do is round. This is a round cylinder, this is a round, all this stuff is a round, so just keep that in mind and you won't draw flat um, characters. So let's take her and twist her to the side. So we're gonna be to the side. Let's give her a little bit more to the side. This is why you always have your center line, like that. And then this one is going to be, I don't know, I haven't got to that one yet. So same thing, your T or your cross, right here, your cross, your upside down U or your upside down U or your mountain. From here to this point here, you're going to curve it in, same amount of curve as this way. And then your V for your neck. You're going too fast. Okay, well go and defer back to the first video. You'll understand. As I said, this is going to be really quick because there's going to be a lot to it. So you're going to have to either watch this over and over again or pause it and go back a little bit more. So have your neck. Remember, keep that neck slim. I'm thinking about a man. Keep that neck slim and that shoulder there. And of course, again, that heart. You're going to have to turn that heart. This is the bottom of where the chest, the breast is going to be. So they're going to have the heart come out here. You're going to have more on this side and less on this side because you turned it and I'll show you that in a minute. So you're going to have this here and it's going to come back to that point, bringing it past that line just a little bit, depending on how big the, the breasts are. And of course, you're going to have your delts right here inside the body because that is going to go here and here. It's going to go there, but it's going to go here. And then you have your, your female arm keeping that square and I'll ink this in a second keeping that square and then this so we have the head let's just start from the head the neck and the shoulder sloping off and then more of a square shoulder like that so from here I always do right under the chin just come down you're gonna have more because this side of the breast is going to start rotating around like if you have this hand and this hand together I put the pencils down this hand and this hand together and if i rotate this one this one's going to be the prominent more dominant and it's going to it's going to start covering that hand it's the same thing with the, the lower parts of the breast so you will have this one here so the more you turn it the more you'll see this part of the breast here and of course, it goes into that. And your arm, remember to make your arm skinny. This, and then your U, and then keep that slim too. She has no lats like the, the man. Like so. And the head is a little crooked, but that's okay. We still love you, girly.
like so yeah and of course again with the arm uh what was i gonna do to this one i have no idea what i was gonna do to that one oh let's do a side side extreme side so we have this we don't want this oval coming straight up like this we want this oval leaning back just a little bit like that so we have this i'm gonna lean it back a little bit we have she doesn't have a big back like the guy so again, we're gonna have the collarbone. We'll have the lower part of the chest, and then we'll have this, and this is like this. So this is the shape you're gonna have when you do the side position like that. Under the collarbone, we're gonna have this heart or the, 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 the chest is gonna come out like this and then go up because you have your arm here, your delt is gonna come right up under that arm. The arm should be lowered a little bit. And we're not going to have a lot of back for her. And then you have your neck. And the same thing with the male is going to come up. That your traps. And then you have her face, her head. And then there's a lot of lines. There's a lot of lines. And collarbone here so the breasts are going to come like this and up you have this the rib cage and wow that's a big arm i know i'm so used to drawing men it's bad when you when you start drawing a lot of men your women start looking like men and then your muscles her abs are here and it comes down to the crotch and then the bottom and then your arm is like this so it's going to look like that. So if you saw a little, if she turned a little bit, you start to see a little more, a little other part of the breast, which would mean you would see just a little bit of shoulder, which would mean you'd see that center line. So it depends on how much you turn the character. And yeah, that goes there, this, like that, because that fits there and you wouldn't really see her ribs or anything like that. Okay, so I just cut it for a second. I have like four more minutes. So let's do, you raise your arms, raising your arms. So we have this a lot, and a lot of people have trouble with that when they raise their arms, what it looks like. So you have this, which is your, and this is what is this, video three, uh, nonstop. So I'm getting tired of talking. So you have your collarbone, you have your, your delts here, that's what your arm down. Now, when you put your arms up, this collarbone is going to raise up depending on how high you raise your arm. So the same way this comes and over top of the collarbone, it's going to do the same thing. It's going to come up and it's going to be over top of that collarbone like that. So it's going to be like this. And then your arm is going to go up there. So it's going to look like this. I'm going to have it come down and you have a little bit of your, your your lats showing for the man and for the female it's going to be uh, the female side on here it's going to be a little different because it goes up you have your chest and the same thing chest is going to be at the top of this your chest instead of it being flat like this it's going to go it's going to lift up it's going to lift up like this because your arm is lifted up so you have where's my pen you have not that one Let's do this first. You have this. It's going to be like this, this roundness. Because when you lift it up, you're going to see just the half of it. I don't know, it's kind of hard to explain that one. But your arm is going to be tucked under there. And your chest is going to come down like this. And then you have the other part of your arm. So it's going to look like this. You're going to have this. Here's your shoulder. Because your shoulder is going to, you're just going to scrunch up. Here's your neck. However, lift this up. This wide part here is going to scrunch up because your, your, your arm is going to be here. So that's going to push all of that up there. So it won't be as, as spread out. It's your arm here and it tucks up under there. You have this is actually coming around and you maybe have a little piece there of that because it's, it's shaped like, like this, shall we say, like a... a um, armor thing and your arm is going to come from up here from under here and then right here 
and you have a little bit left over. So there's that, there's your shoulder, and here's your head and your neck. And this comes down to your collarbone, and this part comes down to your chest, like that, and you have this left over. And then the circle comes around here, and like that, your lats. And again, you would have your ribs right here, and then you, you have your underarm like right here somewhere. But nobody actually draws that the underarm part. So yeah, it's gonna be like that. And then you have this, and then you have that there. That, your neck. And it'll be the same thing for a female. You're not gonna have this lift up too much because breasts are basically like sacks of water. I'm sorry for you ladies, but it's like, it's, it's just, it just is. Or, or, or even worse for me to say, like a water balloon. You have your water balloon. Here's your balloon, and you fill it with water, all the water is going to go down like that. So no matter how much you pull this part, this the water is not going to go anywhere. It's just going to kind of like bounce up and down. So it's not really going to take shape like the males because this is all like muscle. Women have muscle there, but there's a lot of fat down here, so it's not going to really change that shape. So she's still going to have that hanging down. Hanging down. Boy, that just, that just sounds bad. Computer, stop alarm. So that's my 30 minute alarm. And I said, I'm gonna to try to keep each video around 30 minutes. So as soon as I finish this one, we'll end this video and go right into the next one. And of course, as I say, it's gonna come up like this because it's just one piece. The same way, it's just like one piece here. You have this and it's the collarbone right here and the arm is gonna be tucked under here for the female like that and of course you're gonna have smaller you're not gonna have big lats like this and your lats are where are your lats like <clears throat> like here and this this is your thing and this is your lats this is your ribs and this is your lats so for the female small arms like that so you got the small neck like that and then in like so like that and then you can however you want to bend the arm however but this just pushes up so you have your neck your shoulder and your delts right like that so whenever you lift your arms up remember this is going to go up this collarbone is going to go up you put both of them up the both collarbones go up it's going to go up and you're going to have that delt on the end which this is all the space you're going to see of your shoulder once you lift your arm up like that comes in and your collarbone is still going to connect there and this is going to go over your arm and your arm is going to come like that into that and then yeah i just lost that one for a second okay yeah your chest i knew something was missing so it's going to come right from under this little piece here and you have a little piece there and then your shoulder goes there so if i ink this it's going to be like this and of course again this is the guy's arm this, you're going to have a little piece there, and then there's your that, and this is going to come down to your chest, collarbone, 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 probably getting tired there, and then your other arm will be down, so this chest would be down like that, and not up until you lifted that other arm up. All right, so we're going to end this video here, and we're going to, well, I'm going to keep going but this is going to be the end of this video and if you're missing something or if you if you just tuned in which is the end of the video why would i say if you just tuned in go back and check out the other videos and all of them make sense because this is going to be just one long series of showing you how all the body parts move so basically the two years or the three years that i've been on youtube and showing you a little bit little bit this is putting it all together so that you can draw the positions you want so if you're doing comic books you don't have to look for um, one position that's close to yours and say, okay, this I'm going to use this position. I'm going to use that. You just say to yourself, I know exactly what position I want to use. So now that I know, I can draw my own uh, positions by using what the Brian, the Brian, teacher Brian showed me. So by the time we finish this video series, if you stay with it, you will... Um, you'd be a 
bloody good drawer. And I'm, I don't, I'm just coming up with this position, but still. And if you see, I'm just using all the same, um, the same techniques that I'm showing you. And let's just say, put my hand right here. Put the other part of the arm right here and the shoulder right here. So this, this, and this, and then this. So yeah, as I say, so when you, when we finish this, then you'll be a really good drawer, at least a lot better drawer. than you would have been had you not watched this video series. Collarbone comes here, shoulder, abs. We'll get into abs. I know everybody's like, oh, I want to do some abs. We'll get into that. Don't worry about that. And as you see, it doesn't really take long because once you know where everything is and where it goes, it doesn't take long. The only part that would really take long is um, maybe the uniform or your background. But once you have your character, or once you have that body, then the rest is good. You know, you might say, okay, that's not a good expression for my face. I want a better expression. And then you might work on your expressions a little bit more just because, you know, just because the ear and then that. So, yeah, basically, that's what you got right there. So once you once you learn how to position everything, you'll you'll be an incredible drawer. So, yeah, so I'm going to end this video and we'll go on to the next video.